Hello, beautiful souls, friends, near and far. Um, those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Becky Lee. This is coming across your feed randomly. Nice to meet you. I am a spiritual coach, guide, healer, all those great things. Um, and I just wanted to come on and remind you of who you are today. Remind you that you have all the tools within you to create anything you want. I was listening to one of my favorite YouTubers this morning and a new book on YouTube that I found that I actually posted in the in the community. It's a great one. It's called Atomic Habits. And I've read it in the past. I know I have because it sounds very familiar. But sometimes going back and revisiting a book or listening to it instead of reading it, different things come through at different times in your life and your journey. Different, different things will come through and resonate with you. Our mind picks up on where we're focusing. So you can read or see something last week and versus this week and it can be totally different. I just wanted to remind you, there's been a little bit of unrest in the community here and let's be kind to each other. Let's not judge each other. Let's be very open and honest and loving and having that compassion. When I see somebody make a rude comment, that just shows me that they don't have any compassion for themselves. There's a lack of that self-love. There's a lack of that higher understanding because when we have that, we're not going to lash out at people. Something that triggers us, we're not going to lash out. We're going to just sit with it and be like, why is this bothering me? And why am I giving it energy? So I just wanted to remind everybody about that. When you're triggered by something in your external we all do it. We'll all lash out. Next time, try not to lash out. Go within and be like, why am I feeling this? Why is this bothering me? Because unless the person is outright trying to poke at you, most people don't try to hurt other people. There are some people out there. They don't generally come into my existence because that's not the world that I live in. If you're focusing on people being bad and negative and society's joke and society's bad, you're going to see that in your reality. If you focus on the gratitude and the love and how beautiful life is, even in the most difficult circumstances, there's always beauty to be found. There's always a silver lining in that dark cloud. And as we know, those dark clouds can create nasty storms. But after that storm, there is a calm beauty that comes, whether it's from rain and the grass is green and the trees are all in bloom and the flowers bloom, you know, that sun always pokes through. A great analogy is it's always darkest before the dawn. But during those dark times, you can be the dawn. You can, you know, channel that energy. You can come back to the stillness within and be like, how can I shift this? How can I see things in a different perspective? And this is what spirituality is all about. It's about taking the, the pieces of different dogmatic beliefs and I'll use that word very casually dogma is like a box that we draw around us right it's like these set of rules that are we're meant to live by and dogma just doesn't happen in religions organized religions it can happen in so many places it, it's all around us it's in society everywhere and the beauty of seeing beyond that is knowing that just because something works for me or somebody else doesn't mean it's going to work for you we're all different we're all these different beautiful souls. If we were all the same, life would be so boring. So, you know, just because somebody has a set of rules doesn't mean it's going to work for you. My rule of thumb, that golden rule is as long as I'm not hurting anybody else, out, outgoingly hurting anybody else, harming myself, and I'm working for the highest, best good of myself and for all, that is the dance I'm going to dance in my life. And it might not make sense to you, might not make sense to my family, my kids, whoever. But you know what, if it feels right for me, and it makes sense to me, it's it's the right path. It's about finding that resonance, that, that flow state. If you know anything about the Tao Te Ching, Wu Wei, effortless effort is that flow state. That's when we're plugged into that creative nature. And we just know where we're going not giving up when things get really hard. This is the most important piece of information you can take in today. If 
you're at that brink where it feels like everything's falling apart. Say you're building a business or a relationship where it feels like, oh my gosh, I can't take any more. But you've been working towards a final point. That's that point of manifestation where you need to hold steadfast. Be stubborn. Maybe release a little bit of the resistance and go with it. Continue to work. So many people give up when you're at like that point that seems desolate that seems like it's not working anymore and then you you know you let it go you give up don't give up the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset is knowing that you can do it but knowing that you have to put effort forth not excess potential and effort but you have to stay on the path and continue to learn and grow and build that momentum and be able to stand tall and strong and firm when the wind's trying to blow you around. Think of that oak tree, you know, it's got those deep roots and those big storms that come through aren't going to knock it over unless it's rotten on the inside and it's given up. It's going to stand tall. You are that tree. I will just use analogies till the cows come home. I don't even know why I said till the cows come home. That sounds like something my, my grandpa would have said. But I want you to remember that. I want you to know that. Don't give up. And if this is coming across your feed today, wherever, you know, on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're seeing this, maybe you're thinking about giving up on something. Weigh out the options. Is it, have I worked towards this and am I giving up because my ego is telling me I can't do it? Or am I giving up because it's the right thing to do? There's like two sides of the coin. If it's not working, it's not working and you're wanting to do something new. See, the thing with me as a human, I lose interest in things very quickly. So I've had to train myself to find excitement in the mundane. My brain is always wanting to expand, always wanting to learn, and I will jump around and I've had to learn to focus on tasks and they might call that ADD. I don't know what it's called, but when I zero in on something, I make it happen. But then I'm just like, oh, whatever, I'm done now. I've learned to continue moving forward in things when they feel like they're too hard. And this may be a fear of failure that I've grown up with. When they feel like I can't do them, I dig in deeper and I learn more and I work through it. And it's like the best feeling when you come out on top or you take that little time out and the answer that you've been searching for comes to you. Have you noticed in those moments of frustration in your life, you take a step away from a task or like, you know, a problem or a chore and you come back with a fresh perspective and you're like, man, I figured it out. That was so simple. Why didn't I see it? Because we get clouded with that perception. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to share today. I want you to know that you can do it. And if you're feeling like giving up, don't. Don't give up. Continue moving forward, building that momentum. You know, maybe you need to find a different way to approach what's going on. But you can do it. You're worthy and you're worth it. You're worth that abundance. You're worth that unconditional love, especially for yourself from yourself. Give yourself that gift. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.